Hey, what's up everybody? So I wanted to show you a pretty cool trick to color correct all of your footage quickly. I have this example of a zoom video, but it doesn't have to be a you know, zoom video with the boxes and stuff. But imagine you got a zoom video and you were cutting back and forth between the certain cameras. And you had the box with all 50 shots or whatever, and then you went to each individual camera. And now the whole piece is complete, it's done, and now I just want to do one pass on color correction. So what I would do, and I'm not going to go over color correction here, I have another whole video about that, but imagine in theory that I liked this color correction of this shot. Now what I'm going to do is go over here and again I'm in the Avid Symphony mode here. I have that plugin on my home computer. At work I actually have a Media Composer so I do not have these options. And this is one of the coolest features of Symphony. I color corrected this clip, they called it source segment, this individual clip. But if I go here into this, you know, these different options here, and I go into, it, it, you know, depends on how you brought in the footage, but if I go to source clip name, in this case, and then if I adjust the slider, even 1% or 2%, you're going to see down here, it added that color correction to every single clip that this shot was in. So again, imagine I had an hour zoom video and an hour clips of each individual sh uh, box and I went full with each box and then sometimes I went to the zoom video, right? And so I want to color correct it quickly. So this form using this source clip name in this case, you might want to do it by tape. You might want to do it by master clip, um, whatever sort of works for you. And let's say, I don't know, for some reason, uh, we wanted the boxes to be black and white. Okay, again, it made every single instance where I used this clip black and white. And so this is how I would finish a video or do a color correction pass on a video. And I'm just going through each individual clip. This woman in front of the trees, and for some reason, even though this would be completely ridiculous, will make her uh, completely green for some reason. Now, every shot she is in has that crazy green that I just put into it. And here's one more shot we didn't do. Let's make her completely blue. And even we'll take out take out the saturation so now she's completely blue but again i would never do these stupid color effects but i'm just want to give you the example that now that whole piece is color corrected every single shot has the color correction for each individual individual clip in a matter of seconds really in a matter of minutes so think about when you had a hundreds of shots at a 10 minute zoom video going back and forth in the boxes and instead of making a color effect all clicking this, putting this into a bin, and then dragging and dropping onto each individual clip. Oh my God, the amount of time you just saved to drink more beer, that's what it's all about. I know if you have media composure, you're gonna sit here and say, oh my God, I don't even have those options, I know. But I hope this was helpful for some people and go to avidbeer.com for the entire course. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.